So here's the, the idea behind the job titles at Baldwin End was, what if we actually let you be whatever you want to be? Um, and it's been really interesting because there's this title, there's this title poison happening in the industry, as I see, like where you have uh, senior vice president, vice president, executive vice president, uh, president to the executive, executive vice president. It's like these crazy delineations and agencies. And a lot of times what I used to see that get used for was, uh, you know, instead of giving them a promotion, let's actually give them a title, you know? And so I thought like, screw that. What if we actually create as flat an organization as possible, make people accountable, but ask them what they want to be. Like, what do you want to bring to this company? So for instance, my, my title is lead guitar. And it's not like trying to be clever, clever. Oh, isn't that a clever title? It really is trying to say what I am. And I'm a musician. I've been in bands my whole life. Um, and it, anybody in a band will know what I'm talking about that's been in bands. If you haven't been in a band, it's a, um, it's like a brotherhood or a sisterhood or a, 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 it's, it's not a family. It's like a, it's a, um, it's this organism that has to, everybody has to do their part. Everybody has to, uh, carry their own equipment. Everybody has to work the exact same amount or else the entire thing doesn't work. And so, um, you know, if you sing too loud, you're going to screw up everything. If you sing off key, you're going to screw up everything. As lead guitar, I'm just another member of the band. Every once in a while, I do step forward and you know do my thing. But then I'm I'm back in the band and I'm I'm you know I'm 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 part of this organism. That was really important to me, like to create that company. And so that's what we've tried to do. And some people have more uh, tr some people have more ease figuring out what they want to be and what they want to do and saying it. Some people treat it like a creative exercise and have a little difficulty with it. So it's been it's been a really fascinating journey. Um, but I believe you make uh, trust creative people, make them accountable. Uh, everybody's a creative person, by the way. Make them accountable and then hold them accountable. And that's that's what that idea was about. I just I just love great I love great work and I love great ideas and I love surprising solutions. I don't care if I did it. it that's never been important to me. And so. Um, it has not been it has not been a hitch at all, uh, and it's and I really have given it. I've given them the keys and said, "Drive the car, man. You guys are in charge of the creative of the creative product." And I do believe um, it's important to have a creative person at the helm of an agency. You have to have, you know, it it is very difficult to name five great agencies in the history of this business that were not started founded by a creative person. Um, and so um, it, I, there's just an, there's an orientation there, there's a, an ethos there that permeates the place and makes it about the work. And that's still what it's about at Baldwin Ann. And that's, that's how we run the place. That's, that's sort of the love that happens and the inspiration that happens. So it hasn't been hard for me at all. Um, and plus, I'm, I, I, I like learning and I'm learning all kinds of new things that I just didn't know, which has been great. So the, again, I'm going to go back to the original idea of the agency, and it was that we wanted to create adjacent brands um, alongside the, the company because that's what we do. Like we're creative people, we make things, we uh, we believe in commerce, we sell things for a living, we do all these things, and we thought, well, let's do it for ourselves as well and for clients, and then also our sort of advertising design communications practice as well. How do we meld all that together and start to create things? What you you hear agencies say that, and I said it fairly hubristically uh, when we started. Is that a word, hubristically? We don't know. Uh, someone Google that and then mock me in the comments. Um, but uh, what you really realize quickly is that you're actually creating companies, not just brands. And so um, that was still very important to us. So when we started the agency, literally that first month, um, we also tried to start a chocolate bar. And we had this cool idea for a chocolate bar that we, that we wanted to do, and we might still do it. I don't know. But... Um, very quickly realized that I was starting a starting two companies at the same time in 2009 when the economy was just cratered, and so we had to make a decision. I was like, well, this one's going to pay me now. This one's going to pay us maybe at some point, and so we doubled down on the agency. All of that said, we've always looked for opportunities to start our own companies and brands, and um, alongside some other things that we had had done, uh, the the brewery it just happened. It, it just happened out of um, us wanting to kind of selfishly create things that we love and that we want in our lives. 
and uh, it's it's funny how that works, you know. Um, and that's where the brewery came from. So, uh, but my my partner, my fellow founder Bob Renu, he has a uh, motorcycle uh, company called Redeem Motorcycles. My uh, other fellow founder, uh, Jerry Beaudry, has this guitar refinishing thing that he does. That's in incredible how he rebuilds these guitars. Uh, my other fellow founder, Aaron Bredeman, started a tennis academy. We're all using what we do uh, in our daily lives to expand and enhance sort of our, our, our lives outside of work, but also using all the things and resources and all of the stuff that an agency does to, act, to do that. And so it's, it's just a very, open, um, it's a very open idea to put creative people together and see what comes out. And so anybody that wants to do that at the company can bring those ideas to us and we'll have a, at least have a conversation about it. So. Yeah, so um, for anybody who doesn't know the uh, HB2 bathroom bill that happened in North Carolina, we felt uh, par part of Ponysaurus's mission is to use beer to make our community better. Um, and, and I don't know if that's audacious or not, but that's what we're trying to do. And, and um, it's really important to us to be a part of the community and, and live in the community and actually have um, a positive effect on the community. So when HB2 happened, we, um, we wanted to respond in some way that was positive and not negative. And so um, we, my brewmaster, actually Kyle Jansen, also a partner in, in building the, the company, had an idea with another brewmaster from a brewery called uh, Mystery Brewing. They said, hey, what if we actually collaborate and create a beer um, and then give all the profits to LGBTQ causes? And so um, it quickly became, what if we get everybody in North Carolina to do it, that'll do it? Um, and so then we, Baldwin and, uh, worked together as a team with our, our uh, brewery colleagues and said, all right, what is that brand? What is, how, and then we started to, uh, apply branding principles to it of, of how, to, how to talk, uh, what it was gonna be called, all of, the, all of the kind of brand ID, all of that stuff, then kind of that machinery went into work. For us, uh, the, the brewery actually handled all of the operations and, and, uh, and collaborative stuff. Our, our part of it was the communications part of it and actually kind of crafting the story, simplifying the story, and making sure it was as powerful as can, it can be. And we created a beer called Don't Be Mean to People. Uh, which we also call the don't, uh, a golden rule saison, and it is still um, it it's it's still our it's one of our best sellers that we have at the at the brewery to this day. It's all over the state. It's raised it's raised at least sixty thousand dollars or so. It's it's I don't know if I have my math right, but it's raised a ton of money, and all of that is going to um, all all of the all of the profits go to um, these causes. So um, and. You know, our, our, uh, I think our mission with that thing is that's a conversation that needs to be had widely in culture right now beyond North Carolina. What else can we do with that? And so that's something that's happening right now. Like, what else are we going to do with that? That's a huge opportunity and possibility in the universe for us to take that. And um, I, I can't think of a better message in the world right now than that, particularly in America. So. Uh, you know that the artist the art versus advertising thing has been debated forever and and I think No matter how many creative people you get into a room. You're gonna have a different answer But I very strongly feel like we're artisans not artists um, at the end of the day art uh, Can be interpreted however the the viewer of that art or the experiencer of that art wants to interpret it and we on the other hand have a job to do and we have to at the end of the day sell something or um, have people understand a, a, a concept as as we intend it, um, and so I liken it a little bit to uh, building cabinets. You know, we're we're you're an artisan. You're you're building cabinets. Um, at the end of the day, if you have a cabinet, somebody says, "Hey, I need a cabinet for my house," and they build a cabinet, and then the shelves are are uh, slanted, and so but they look great, and somebody puts a glass on it, it falls and breaks. That's a terrible cabinet. That is not a good cabinet. That's what we do. We actually, uh, we actually build cabinets, and those cabinets have to do something. Now, all of that said, why not make it awesome? Why not make it beautiful? Why not put all the craft that you can into that? Let's, let's make sure that we're um, answering whatever brief we're doing, and then let's craft the hell out of it and make it what it's supposed, like what it 
let's dream and make it what it can be. That's where the art starts to really come in. But at the end of the day, we are artisans, and if we have a beautiful piece of art that doesn't do what it's intended to do, it's crap. It doesn't matter if it wins an award. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So um, I'm, I'm on the artisan's side, not the artist's side. Uh, what we do has artistry, but we're artisans.